All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day out here, another storage auction video. So I'm gonna head out to the uh, the storage facility here uh, shortly. I did buy two lockers, I uh, actually bought three lockers. This will be the second locker I'm cleaning out. Uh, I have about 24 hours to clean out the other locker as well. So I gotta clean out two more lockers within 24 hours. I already did one and I already did a video on that. If you guys haven't checked that out, I will link that at the end of this video. So don't be, uh, don't be afraid to subscribe down below and uh, check that out later as well as for the next video. But uh, unfortunately, when I do these storage lockers and storage unit cleanouts, I don't have enough time to really show everything and I kind of bring the stuff home because uh, I don't want to make like a three hour or four hour video of this. So I did find these two items in my last one that I did not talk about. Now this is a military knife. Uh, it's made by Kabar out of, I think, New York. I think that's where it's made out of. Uh, it's a USA knife, it's a military knife. I expect to get anywhere between 20 to $50 for this one. And then this is a survival knife uh, made by Fury. I believe that's the name of the brand. And I tried doing some research on eBay on this guy and I couldn't find anything. So these came out in the last locker, I did not show it, but these were definitely uh, some of the decent items that I did not show. I know there was some military related items in that locker, so if you're curious about that, make sure to check out that video after, and we'll head out to the facility and clean out our locker. Alright, so here we are. Time to uh, go to our locker. Fortunately, it's right next to the door and it's on the first floor, so we're all right here. I know the last locker was, uh, it was on the third floor. You say to go down the elevator, that's not the case here. Alright, so I kid you not. That's the front door. That's the locker I bought. So uh, this locker I bought, and then I bought one on the third floor. That's the one I already did. And then I also bought another locker down that way. So I'm very, very fortunate that way because it's literally just pulled the cart over there, walk out the door, and there's my van sitting right there. So couldn't have been happier with this. Also, it's not on the second one. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Should be a doozy. That's my lock. And bam, so I paid, I believe 20 bucks for this locker. It was 20 or 25. Uh, my total tab yesterday was $125, I think. Uh, or two days ago or when I did the auction itself. Uh, so I think I paid 20 for this or 25 and then the next one I did I either paid 30 or 35 for. So not a big deal there but uh, straight off the bat I saw this was definitely a kids locker. Um, you have kids books here, you have most likely kids toys in the back. Toys and probably these bins are filled with clothes or toys. Maybe books, paperwork. Bam, got a television down there. That looks like a mattress in the back, which I guess I have to wrap that, but that's not going to be too big of an issue. Kind of a weird pull there, but we'll uh, we'll see what we find. Right. So, this looks like just a bunch of kids' books off the bat. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. What is that? Oh, they're coloring books. So as long as they're not really colored, I think I could probably donate them. Uh, this might be an older one. So we'll see what's with that. Got a milk crate. Hey, look, a quarter. So we're already up 25 cents, or we have 29 dollars and 75 cents to go. Or we have nineteen dollars and seventy-five cents to go. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, these Timberlands. They are kid-sized Timberlands. Don't know if they have much value online, but these are easy, three to five bucks at the flea market. Older shoes. These look broken, but Timberlands, those are good. All 
Alrighty, looks like we got some particle board in there. As well as some more in the corner. As well as more in the corner. So judging based off the top of this box, this looks like it's probably just more books. This is all tax documents. All right, so this goes to the front office because they might, the previous owner might need it. It's like photos in there and stuff. Looks like we got a bunch of notepads, which are always good. That just tissue paper. Nothing really exciting in this box. If you guys hear a buzzing in the background, that's the elevator. Handy pocket knife. Brand new depends you size, so that can get donated. Uh, I've donated a ton of these. Here will be another box of that. Another one of these. I know in the last one I found a ton. This is just bedding. A ton of these big bags. Did end up finding a yearbook. All right, got another box here. Hopefully, these boxes aren't just all kids' books. This one looks to be exactly that. Let's see what's in this one. Top one is all stationaries. You have your crayons, your glue stick. Middle one, a bunch of toys guys interested in Hot Wheels, stuff like that. So looks like we got a bunch of those. That's what that one looks like. And the bottom one. So that's probably, there's got to be 15 and 20, 25 dollars in Legos there. Legos are pretty pricey. Sold per pound when I was back in my heyday, I was getting anywhere between like 7 to 10 dollars per pound Legos. It's probably close to 3 or 4 pounds here. So, don't know if I see any mini figs. It's your body of one. But this bin right here like this whole thing everything probably 25 30 dollars and stuff so this was that makes up for the whole locker already this bag's pretty cool looks like got all stuffed animals good old ninja turtle i see mickey fall out got a mickey and then this guy's awesome i guess that's mickey also So those actually sell. Surprisingly, <laughs> Mickey, Minnie, Ninja Turtles, the dinosaurs, eh, probably not. But those guys, you get dollar, three dollars each. Some of these uh, online go for a decent amount also, so got to do the research there. All right. Won't bore you too much with the books because I can see the top one's books and that's books. However, we have this thing here, which might be a chair or a tent. It's a... Uh, Give it a look. Looks like it's brand new. Sierra Dome Tent. Kmart, Walmart, Kmart. Doesn't have a price. But that's it. Sleeps two to three. Got myself my new house. 
All right, you got two more bins over here. The other ones are just clothes and toys. This one's clothes. Everything's so neatly folded. Uh, I'm gonna end up donating all these clothes. I know some people, some people just toss them. I just end up donating them. I, I could bring them to my market. The thing is, with what I sell, it's like you put out a bunch of kids' clothes, people are just gonna walk away. Uh, especially if you have other things. It's kind of like I brought a bunch of CDs and DVDs one time and everyone just like walked away because that's all I had was music. So, what do you got here? These are old blankets. Yeah, there's more, more clothes. So, thrift stores around here are going to do all right with this stuff. I could bring it to the market and ask like 50 cents a piece. I don't have the space right now. Uh, this is why when the summer comes around, I'd love to do a lot more of these storage lockers. I think they'll be very, very fun to do. Um, but I just don't have the space right now to be storing 50 cent items. All right, what is this? That looks like more clothes. We'll get there in a second. This one has a little bit more weight. Boom, there you go. That looks like a dance pad. Let's see what we got in here. Alrighty. Xbox 360. Bunch of Wii games. These are all 360 games. Call of Duty Ghost, Blue Dragon. Let's see if these. Yeah, they're in there. Ghost Recon. Never heard of this one. Let's see what else we have here at the bottom. Tons of cables. Those are power supplies. Unless it's wrapped in this blanket at the bottom. Yeah, it feels like an Xbox down here. There you go. A bunch of controllers, you have the Xbox with the hard drive. There's probably 50 bucks in here. They, uh, they really jammed this locker in, in here. Holy macro. Alright, so I've sold a bunch of these. This is good. One of these carts. And they, they get to walk over there to get the light going. These uh, shopping cart things, these are great. All right, so that mattress will go out probably last. Uh, it's an adult size backpack. That's like old bathroom stuff. Nothing too spectacular in there. I thought there'd be like, well, sounds like there's money. There is. You got a whopping, probably 20 cents in there. Some Nikes, some Air Force Ones. This 
one matches that one. So you got a pair, at least you got a pair. And that one matches that one. Do have some Converse. So yeah, a pair of Converse. Sketchers. Sketchers are pretty shot. Uh, but the other one should sell. I know a box truck guy from the flea market, his son actually buys and sells sneakers. And he'd really buy like any Nike or any Jordan out there, so put this aside for him. All right, so I completely ripped open that garbage bag by accident trying to rip it out of here. So, looks like it might just be easier to uh, take the stuff out. Just go over the garbage can, or the garbage can, over the mattress. This is one box. Looks like paperwork. This might be a Nintendo DS. Missing the back piece. This is just One game, Line Rider for the DS. And this is all paperwork. Uh, this looks like just more paperwork, binder, school stuff. What do you think's in this box? Paperwork, Jordan box. This one might have some glasses. Looks just paperwork. Batteries, can always use batteries. That's it. Looks like more stuffed animals. This thing has some weight to it. Hopefully it's not just books. Seem to have hangers on them, so they're probably something a little bit. Got some gloves. Uh, they're just like dress shirts. Just dress shirts. Thinking books might be a laptop. It's binders. A bunch of binders. So that was exciting. Uh, very, very exciting day. I gotta get this mattress out as well. Alrighty, so it's all cleared out. Take that guy off, I need that back for my next purchase down the line. But yeah, wow, that was a fun day. Uh, it's always fun to do these storage auctions. It's a, it's a big mystery, and it seems like on the channel, everyone seems to enjoy the mystery with me. Uh, but we're all cleared out here. Big thing with the buying and selling because I do resell this stuff. I do sell this. If you're ever curious about like flea markets and where people get inventory, it's generally from storage auctions or auctions in general. 
Uh, that is generally the majority of flea market sellers pretty much have it that way. Um, so that's where this stuff ends up as well. But yeah, uh, a great day. I know a lot of people really care about the numbers. So I think it's been like 20 or $25 for this locker. One or the other, like I said, one or the other. Uh, the Xbox box itself is going to be $50, $60. The low end didn't really go through it too much, but you know, Xbox is kind of dying off. Xbox 360 isn't even this generation. I know the Xbox Series X or whatever might be coming out in like six or seven months. We're already on Xbox One, so it's like eight, ten years old already. Uh, but yeah, great locker. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. I'll be doing another storage auction video very, very shortly. So subscribe down below so you won't miss that one. And I'll catch you guys next time for the next venture. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.